welcome back to the channel. Today is another best of 2018 beauty edition. So I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite makeup products of the whole year. So it was really hard to just narrow down to one product from each category but I did it anyway for you guys. This is the whole wrap up of 2018 best beauty products. My favorite. So let's get started. The first one would be the best Primer. You guys know how much I love this. This is the Guerlain Lore Primer. It is highly raved by one of my favorite beauty YouTubers, Tati, and I tried it for myself. It is so good. Basically, what this is, is it actually has gold beads inside, so it is kind of like a skincare and primer two in one kind of product. It is pricey, but I think it's super worth it because you know it's a skincare and primer two in one, so you don't only get the makeup benefits from it. Next up, best. Foundation. I know it's such a difficult one because I mean I've tried so many foundations and foundations are really, you know, like to each its own. Personally for me, I found that the Face Shop Ink Lasting Foundation is really really good. It is actually a matte foundation but on my dry skin, it's not too overly dry. I would say medium to full coverage and definitely buildable to super 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 full coverage. But at the same time, it doesn't have that kind of weight on the skin. This foundation was actually the one I used in both of my two wedding shoots that I did this year in Greece and also in Melbourne. So both of them had very very different climates. Greece was actually really hot and sweaty. Whereas for Melbourne, it was kind of like dry and windy and cold. So it really lasted very long and it looks very very nice in pictures. At the same time, it is not too expensive. So. When it comes to the best cushion foundation, you guys know that I have been raving about the Dear Dahlia Skin Paradise Grooming Cushion Foundation throughout the whole year. And the formula of it, it's just like your skin but better and it has a medium coverage. When it comes to cushions, I feel that medium to full coverage is quite hard to come by. And when it's in a cushion, I expect it to be convenient, easy to blend, really good for touch-ups because that's what cushions are for. This one melts very very well into your skin even though you're retouching your skin for like the second or third time throughout the day and that's what I love about this. Best concealer. Ta-da! It's my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's just so good. Like I feel that even though there are so many dupes out there in the market, there isn't one that is exactly the same as this one which is why I feel that it's so worth the money. The consistency of it is creamy, it's easy to blend but at the same time it doesn't crease or it doesn't crack and it doesn't become patchy as well. Not only can you use it on your pimples, you can use it on your dark spots, you can use it on your dark eye circles, so on and so forth. And I just really love this. Best setting powder, it would be this one. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I only recently started using this, I would say in the past like four months or so, but I have been so in love with it. So I know that for a powder to have hyaluronic acid inside, it's kind of weird. And to today, I still cannot grasp my head around like this product because it is so refreshing on the skin. It's kind of like, you know, really fine. It's like a powder form. Um, it's completely white, but when it sets on your skin, it just gives your skin a very, very nice veil. It doesn't look too over powdery. It also helps with my dry skin. Whenever I bake with other powders, I feel that my skin kind of cracks because I've got really dry skin. But when I bake with this, it doesn't happen. Best setting spray. It would be dun dun. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. You guys know how much I love Urban Decay Setting Sprays. Even though I hardly use it nowadays because I feel that I've found like a very very good combination between skincare, the weather and my makeup products such that I don't really have to rely on a setting spray. It helps to kind of create like a little veil over your skin. Um, like a little layer that helps to keep everything in place and you don't really perspire that much, I feel. Even when you do, it doesn't rub off that fast. Best eyeshadow palette from the high end would be... Ta -da -da! This year, I have been loving the Urban Decay Born to Run palette so much. For me, I love to have like a huge variety of colours I can play with so that I can go from day to night. Um, pinks to purples to orange to green to blue to black to a smoky eye and I just want to be able to do that with just one palette and on top of that this is so thin it is hard casing as well so it doesn't actually crumble or like just peel off in your makeup travel bag if you guys know what I mean and it comes with a huge ass mirror I love this 
so much. I have just been using it so much. Of course, I won't forget my drugstore babies. So for my favorite drugstore eyeshadow palette this year, it would be this one. This is the Etude House Play Color Eyes in the shade Cold Brew Latte. It is in the Coffee to Go collection, which I know only came out recently in fall, but I just love it to bits. I feel that it's so well thought of. Like the colors in this eyeshadow palette, they are just so complimentary and you can create a lot of like Korean looks with it. And at the same time, the quality of it is so good. Really, every time someone asks me for eyeshadow recommendations and they don't want to spend too much money, I always tell them to go to the Korean stores. And this one, I just love it. Best shimmery liquid eyeshadow. And it would be this. This is the Pixie by Petra Liquid Fairy Light. I love the name first and foremost. And I think I have not seen anything as high shine as this before. If you want to create an eyeshadow look that is just focused on like glitter, like this entire range of the Liquid Fairy Lights would do it for you. And this lasts very, very, very long. It like almost doesn't even budge at all. Best liquid eyeliner this year, it would be my Kat Von D Dagger Liner. I have been using that same dagger liner for like a good six months and it was still like ongoing. It's just that I kind of closed the cap onto it and then I ruined the tip of it. But I just love the Kat Von D dagger liner simply because of how smart it is. Like the tip kind of comes in a dagger form like this, hence the name. Basically, it's very, very opaque, kind of very easy to get to the ends and the corners with the sharp tip. I think this is a very, very good eyeliner to have. And it really lasts all day and it doesn't budge. The best gel liner would be the Cleo Gel Espresso Waterproof Gel Liner. You guys know how much I love this. So I love it because it is so creamy, you know, it's so creamy, it's so buttery and it's very pigmented. It even comes with like a sponge tip that allows you to smudge out and that way you can actually create a lot of looks with it. They're just super easy to use and once it sets, it actually really, really lasts very long. So it's not too expensive as well and it comes in a wide range of shades. What is my best mascara of 2018? Ta -da! No surprise! It's my Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. You guys know how much I've been raving about this for the longest time. I feel that I really love how it makes my lashes look because it just makes it fan out and it lasts very long. The curl doesn't even drop throughout the day. So if you are Asian, you have Asian lashes like me, this one would be really good for you. Next one would be the best bronzer slash contour. It will be my Hula Bronzer from Benefit. I just love this because it really complements all skin tones. I think that the shade is very good as a bronzer or as a contour as well. So I just love to contour with it. It also lasts pretty long. It's just so good. <laughs> yeah. Best blush of 2018. I was like looking through my whole stash of blushes and I can't really pinpoint like any one of it, you know, because I don't really have like a best, best, best right or die blush. I chose this. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Soft Color Blush in the shade 220 Madeira because I realized that I have been reaching for this the most throughout the whole year. It is so used right now, but what I like about it is that this colour especially is very, very nice for my skin tone. Really, it just is a very, very nice pigmented, easy to blend kind of blush. So yeah, I would say this is my favourite blush of the year. Next up, best highlighter. It would be my Becca <laughs> Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone actually. So it's already shattered. I have to be very careful. It's already shattered, um, very sad. My heart shattered with it. But <laughs> I just have to use like very, very little. So that's why I never ever run out of it. I have my best nude lip and it would be this one. This is the Dermacol Matte Mania in the shade 14. I just love Dermacol's lipstick so much. This nude lip has a really, really opaque and just very, very good consistency that lasts all day. The best thing is even though it's matte, it's not overly matte and I love this shade. It is a gorgeous MLBB kind of shade and I just love wearing other lipsticks on top of this because this one, whenever I wear it at the bottom, I know for a fact it's not gonna batch. So even if I put on like a really not long-lasting lipstick on top of it, it still would last all day. On to the best lip products of all time, I mean all time, of the whole year. 
it would be this. So these are my favorite rollover reaction. Suede lip and cheek cream. It's very suitable for Asian skin tones. But what I like about it is that it's a suede texture, so it doesn't actually feel too dry on your skin. And you can use it on your cheeks, you can use it on your eyelids, you can use it on your lips. And at the same time, they are also very, very pigmented. So this one is probably one of my favorite shades. This this one over here. So this one over here is in the shade Sally, and I just really love it. I'm almost out of it already. I love it. Then let's move on to the best red lip of the year. It would be this one that I'm wearing right now. It is not your conventional like red, red, English red kind. This is the 3CE matte lipstick in the shade 909 Smoked Rose. It looks like this. It is you know, a really, really burnt red kind of colour. It's deep and dark, but at the same time, it's not too intimidating. I like to use this on top of my double core lipstick, so I'm just going to show you how it looks like. So when I apply it on top, it actually creates this kind of colour. Best makeup brushes would be Beautiful! Like, I love the quality of Beautiful brushes. I highly recommend people who are makeup beginners, who are starting to kind of invest in makeup tools, you know, eyeshadow brushes and whatnot, to really, really go and try Beautiful. I think it's a very, very good brand. Best makeup sponge would be my Beauty Blender. <laughs> I have been looking high and low for a really, really exact dupe. I think the Beauty Blender still holds the winning spot because, you know, it is the queen of, the queen of all queens of sponges. That is all for my Best of 2018 makeup collection. And again, do share with me your favourite makeup products in the comments box down below. I would love to know what they are and try them for myself because good things are meant to be shared, right? Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!